Hey everyone, I'm Daksh and in this video we are arriving into the fundamental building blocks of Flutter development that are widgets. And before we go deep into this, let's first understand what exactly widgets are. Flutter widgets are the fundamental building blocks of Flutter apps user interface. And in Flutter, everything is a widget from text and button to layouts. A widget is the basic unit of user interface in Flutter. Think of it as a, a blueprint for how something should look and behave on the screen. These widgets are then combined in hierarchy called the widget tree, where parent widget contains child widgets, which we'll see later in the video. All the widgets in Flutter fall in two categories, stateless or stateful, where the main difference is whether the widget will change over time or not. So let's first see the stateless widgets. A stateless widget has no internal state. Once it's built, it doesn't change unless the parent or us change the code with the new data. You see the text widget right here. This is an example of a stateless widget because this doesn't change over time. No matter how much time passes on, this text will always remain same until or unless we decide to change the code which I'll do it in front of you. And when we reload that, the change will occur. But this will always stay the same. And this is what stateless widgets are. Next, the stateful widget. A stateful widget can store and update internal state data. And when its state changes, Flutter automatically rebuilds the widget so the UI matches the new data. This widget is idle for anything interactive. If you see on the screen in the given example, we have a counter that starts at zero and that's we have a set state method right here in the increment function that is called to increment the count whenever the button is pressed by one. So right here, and you can see we are using a stateful widget. Uh, here the counter widget function is a stateful widget type and it increases the counter by one and it's saving the state Whereas if you see the text still remains the same, which we created in the last slide. And this is a stateless widget. So with this, let's move on and start testing the most important widgets present in Flutter. Let's start with the most essential widget for building any screen. That is the scaffold widget, where scaffold provides a basic app layout structure. You can also think of it as a digital canvas for your app screen where you can stick widgets on. We are in the VS code and here inside the material app function, which act as the top level material wrapper that sets up everything app wide, like navigator, theme, text, direction, and even the home screen. So if you see on the right side here, our emulator have nothing on it. The whole screen is black. So let's start adding the home screen and call scaffold. So we have the scaffold widget ready and let's try restarting the app to see if the scaffold widget is working or not. So once you add the scaffold widget and restart the app, you see it changed from black to white. And as we discussed while discussing the scaffold widget, this act as a white canvas for your app screen. And now once we have the canvas ready, we can start adding widgets on this canvas. So we are done with the scaffold widget. And next let's start adding a very important component in our app, which is the app bar. So the app bar is a toolbar that is usually placed at the top of the screen inside a scaffold widget, and it can display tiles, icons, and actions. You can use it when you need navigation, branding, or quick action at the top of your screen. We are back in the VS code and inside the scaffold widget, we are supposed to create an app bar. So scaffold widget also have a property called app bar where let's create the app bar and this app bar have a widget called app bar right here. And inside the app bar, let's give it a title called Code Academy. 
let's call it code academy right and well this is oh we missed p right here let's save this code and refresh our app and there you go you see it's showing core academy but right now the difference of color between our app bar and the scaffold is same so you won't be able to see the app bar so let's try to add let's try to add a, a color to our app bar, app bar so let's use this i will choose gray and i'll put it 300 so it will be light we don't need this here right and when we save it yes the app bar color have changed and if you notice inside the material app the widget we are using is scaffold and the app bar is basically the children of scaffold widget which we talked at the start where we said that the widget and the childs are in a tree, tree structure so here this the children of app bar is text and background color the next widget that we will be writing code for is the text widget where the text widget simply displays a string of text on the screen and it supports different style fonts and alignments now we are supposed to create the body of the app so we have to move outside of the home page and write the code of body and we are we were supposed to create the text widget let's keep it as hello world and when you save the code it shows hello world right here but this doesn't look good so let's bring it in the center using the center widget so body also have a property called center so let's use the center widget and keep the text widget as child and here is our text widget and once we save this code you will see that hello world is in the center right now and this looks way better with this we have learned how to write the code for text widget the next widget is the container widget the container widget is one of the most commonly used widget in flutter development and it acts as a versatile box it can hold a single child widget and lets you apply styling like padding margin and background color inside vs code we already have the text widget ready which we created last time and i have also created a a style property inside the text widget that text widget gives you and i have increased the font size to 20 but the main task for this part is to put this text widget inside the container widget so let's cut the text widget and instead of text widget let's use container and inside container let's put our text widget and see if it's work right now we can't see the container but it's actually inside uh, the text widget is actually inside the container widget to show the container widget let's change the background color to change the color of the background for a container we can use the the colors property that if it have and let's set it to blue let's save the code and here we go the color of, of our container have changed but right now if you see it's very small the container is very small to increase the size of our container we can use the padding property and edge insects all method to increase the size from all the edges oh we forgot the comma yep so now if we save the code we'll see that it have increased the size from all the sides from all the edges of the container and these were the property these these are the most important properties of a container and if you want to learn more about container you can 
go to Flutter Docs and explore all the different properties it have or even VS Code it will give you suggestions like right now you can see the properties that it's showing right now is color, padding, alignment, decoration, width, height, right? You can do this for all the widgets here, let's say text. If you hover over text, it will show you like it has style, text alignment, soft wrap, key data, right? So you can also hover over the widgets or you can go to Flutter Docs and read the documents to understand the properties. Let's move on to the next widget now. In this part, we'll use rows and columns to arrange the widget where rows arrange the widget horizontally and the column widget will arrange the widgets vertically. So in this part, our plan is to create a column in the center and create two rows. The first row will have two containers containing the strings called hello world and the second row will have the string containing hello flutter and all this widget will be present in the center column you'll notice all the widgets which i'll create in the column which will be centered will be present in this area only so let's remove um, this container from here and create the column child create the column child and inside the column let's first use the property called uh, main main axis alignment and align it to center let's save it and see if there's yes there are no errors and once we are done with the alignment let's create another children here column yes and create a children here and inside the children as we said we are let's use a comma here we are supposed to create row so create the row widget and again align this also to center and inside the row the first row as we said we were supposed to create two containers so once we are done with the alignment another create another children and inside the children first create the first um, container and as child let's keep the text as hello hello for the first and let's add the padding padding all oh, there we go let's set the color to colors dot I'm, no let's set it to colors dot blue right and add a add a size box of 20 size box yeah of width with 20 yes and then we'll create another container and this container will have another child and this child will be text and this is supposed to be world and again keep the padding as 20 and let's change the color to say yellow let's try saving it once yeah so these two uh, widgets are coming in the same row and let's move out of the first row and create another sized box of width 20 and here we will create another container let's give a comma here we'll create another container which will have a child text and this was supposed to be hello flutter and here let's keep the padding as 20 and for this let's keep the 
colors as blue. There we go. With this, we are done with, let's change it to red actually. So this looks different from the rest of the widgets. Yes. So with this, we are done with rows and columns and let's move on to the next part where we will see how we can create the image widget and the icon widget. We'll now discuss the image and icon widgets, which we use to display visuals. The image widget display the image from assets, the network or memory and the icon widget have different different icons inside it, which you can use it as per your wish. So this is where we left and let's take it from here. And the first widget that we will be creating will be the icon widget. So let's create a icon widget go and you can decide which icons you want to use in this option there are a lot of icons so right now i'll decide i have decided to use the star icon and the color i want it to have is orange let's keep it orange right and there's one more property to have. We can also set the size. So let's keep the size as 40. Let's try saving the code and see uh, it comes. And did you notice this, this widget, the, the icon widget is still inside the column because if you see the icon widget is still inside the column widget right here. And after the icon widget, let's first add a distance between these two widget and let's keep the height as 20. Yes. So let's use the image widget, right? And we'll use the network version to show the image. And inside the network widget, you will have to give the link here. I'll give the link later and let's first set the height uh, for the image. Let's keep it as 120. And I think there's a width property also, right? Width. Yes. So width property, which will also be 120. Let's keep it as square and there's one more property that this have is box width so the image resolution can be small or um it can be way bigger so we want the image to fit inside this image widget so we'll use the the fit property and we'll use cover so it stays inside the uh, inside the inside the widget and for the link let's use the link provided by flutter which is this and there you go you can see the image is here and this image is also aligning in the column with all the other widgets so there you have it now you know all the basic widgets that are there in flutter development and you also know the key difference between stateless widgets and the stateful widgets with this you are officially ready to start creating a basic app now go forward and build something awesome thank you for watching